Hey guys, Silence Seo here. Welcome back to another Utah My Cross Gacha video. So I apologize for this video being slightly late because the last two days I've been um, lying in my bed sick, uh, having some really major back issues. Anyway guys, we're gonna take a look at Makina's brand new episode plate. But before that, let's talk about the new content that was shown um, during My Cross Gatomaranai last night. Um, First off, they announced the upcoming Red Boss event which was delayed um, last month mainly because of the crossover live that was held in Japan and yeah, so they kind of pushed everything back a month later uh, they even delayed the uh, expiration for some of the older episode plates that you can exchange in the Chaos Exchange and now we're gonna take a look at the banner that was shown on the um, broadcast last night and straight away you can tell why is Mikumo um, with Min Mei? Uh, probably because my guess this current event is a SDF Macross song and it just happens that uh, Mikumo is you know sharing the same maybe kind of stats that Min Mei's costume is uh, using and of course um, Kaname is up next for a brand new costume release um, also with an SDF captain um, you know costume that most of the other Valkyrie members have actually received already we've got uh, Freya there we've also got um, well Min Mei is definitely one of them she was the first diva to actually obtain such a costume which was full time and cross exclusive and now it's Kaname's turn fantastic stuff so Kaname fans um, definitely get your singing stones ready but of course we are here right now for Makina so <laughs> Makina fans hopefully you've got your singing stones ready I definitely have uh, 500 singing stones on standby um, I managed to save up a few um, just right after Reina's gacha so lucky me I'm able to do a template pool for you guys so let's take a look at the episode play itself to see whether Makina's episode play is actually as good as Reina's um, so yeah let's take a look at the stats so straight off the bat you can see that there's no special notes attached to Makina's episode play which is kind of a bummer because Reina's actually has and Reina's episode play was meant to be used for high score achieving uh, purposes but Makina straight off the bat we don't see a special note attached to it so that's kind of a bummer how come Makina doesn't have the same kind of treatment that Reina does you know considering that they're always together but let's take a look at what else this episode plate of Makina is able to do uh, aside from you know trying to achieve high score um, like Reina's episode plate does so take note of the four divas equipable with this episode plate strangely enough we've got Three of the other divas who are very strong in terms of uh, personality alongside Makina, we've got Minkumo, we've got Cheryl and we've got Milane. Very strong independent women. Um, Makina is definitely not seen to have personalities that are similar to these three other divas. Um, except Milane, I guess because Milane does have a cute side as well but not as kawawa as Makina so I'm not too sure why this pairing occurs in Makina's episode play but anyways all right let's take a look at the stats so a total of 3370 um pretty decent amount of stats same like Reina's episode play um definitely on the mid-tier basis of episode plates um focusing on voice and of course um, well balanced among soul and charm so pretty decent episode plates in terms of stats so kind of a bummer still that there's no special note attached to this episode plate which is gonna make it a slightly a lower want in terms of you know collecting this episode plate for use um, if you're a Makina fan definitely you will try to obtain this episode plate because the image is definitely very lovely for any Makina fan out there Center skill, voice up. So immediately you can tell voice up. Unit's voice is boosted by 90% up. So immediately the center skill is super attractive. 90% boost for voice. Makina's episode plate is definitely looking like a center skill episode plate um, meant for high score purposes. While Reina's was actually a live skill support. So I guess, I guess in a way, 
both Magina and Reina's episode play complement each other perfectly, just like what they do in the show. <laughs> so I think Magina's episode play is still um under the limelight of uh, a needed episode plate for those who are lacking episode plates of the heart element or the love element or pink element, whichever you want to call it by. Um, you know, in case you don't have an episode plate that's equivalently as good as Makina's, um, I guess her active skill is definitely a high score boosting skill. So let's take a look. So immediately, yes, straight off the bat, we have that 10 second um, score 100% boost active skill. So immediately, Makina's plate is meant to be used as a center for high score achieving purposes while Reina is standing behind um, backing her up to give you that full high score advantage um, especially since Reina's life, uh, life skill is there for um, high score purposes and plus she has that special note attached to her episode plate so if you are a Maki Ray fan both episode plates are definitely a must have because both episode plates are meant to be used for high score achieving and under the love element song the pink element song whichever one you call it by and yeah fantastic stuff for any Maki Ray fan especially for those who are Makina and Reina fans separately live skill for Makina's plate S rank as well so at the beginning um, of the 50 second mark you know for trial seconds you will have an easier time touching your notes so it helps train yourself as well so Makina's plate can be used as a live skill support as well when it comes to tackling those very difficult extreme songs or maybe songs that are of a difficulty level that you can never tackle before so if you want to practice for those hard to play songs um, for your standard you know Makina's plate is definitely there for you as well so definitely both plates are looking good in terms of um, necessity and of course once in terms of your collection for good episode plates to use so yeah do I recommend you know investing in Makina's episode plate if you don't have a love element plate a pink element plate you know um, that is for center active use for high score achieving purposes definitely invest into this episode plate but if you already got something that's similar of this standard you know with the total score that's slightly higher than usual because um, some of the older plates are definitely low, lower in terms of total score so this is I guess a step up from upgrading your your you know the older plates that you have in your collection I would say invest into it definitely invest into it there are better episode plates um, compared to Makinas out there but you know if you really want to achieve or uh, obtain those episode plates you're gonna have to store up singing stones and wait for um, their re-release again so if you're patient and you're not fussy about you know getting top tier or top ranking in terms of all the events that is gonna occur while you're waiting for the app, uh, gacha to reoccur again um, yeah I guess it's fine to wait and save up your singing stones um, if you if you want to you know get yourself into top 100 um, placing in the future at the meantime you're, you're, you don't mind losing out on all those top ranking uh, that's currently going on until then all right so let's pull the gacha because I think I've explained myself more uh, long enough uh, yeah let's let's not delay this any further and let's do that template pool for Makina's episode plate hopefully she'll grant us some kyawanas uh, I didn't get anything for Reina so who knows maybe Makina will sh shine some light onto me instead <laughs> uh, all right so one plate uh, okay I guess the bad luck streak is still going on I don't know how many videos this bad luck will run for but you know we can always hope all right so let's skip all the non common nonsense again because that's a lot of min mei <laughs> that's a lot of sdf across episode plates okay we do get one delta one with Mas uh, mirage and freya so got some balance of maki ray there all right so it's a lot of sdf and delta episode plates <laughs> what is going on oh my goodness all right so here's the only red box that we have uh woo, it's definitely a new episode plate i'm liking the shadowing effect of this illustration 
fantastic stuff. So I guess we're gonna get the there we go. We get the notification that I have my uh, costume points for Makina's brand new costume. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to unlock her costume anytime soon. I guess I have to use episode ops. But that means I have got more backlog of costumes to try and unlock because I try not to spend too much money on this um, game than I need to because I am not that rich of a person. <laughs> so yeah, so I am somewhere in the lines between people who spend money on um, mobile games at the same time I'm in between um, for in between those who are free to play as well. So I get I get both sides of the. I, uh, story in terms of players you know I, I have been free to play on many mobile games before except for now um, because Macross is one of my most loved beloved um, animation series out there and yeah and the characters just appeal to me so even the music itself is awesome so yeah all right so hopefully you guys found everything that I shared useful as always do let me know by hitting the like button share the video to your friends who love to time across or maybe are interested to play and yeah um ho hopefully in the next few days I'll try to get the um, tutorial video for um you know the current event going on for those who are brand new to the game I know that video hasn't been out <laughs> since the start of the game um, haven't really gotten uh, perfect timing to actually make that video I guess this is the time to do so and of course we have that video where I'm talking about how to get yourself in the top 100 placing for Red Boss event I did do a live video for that uh, I'll leave the link in the description down below if you want to watch that um, well impromptu uh, very rough explanation of the event um, if not you can always wait for me to do a, a bit more of a sorted out explanation um, in terms of how you can get top 100 for the Red Boss event to get those wonderful episode plates uh, speaking of which I forgot I almost forgot that I need to mention this so one of the images that was shown in the Macross Gatomoranai broadcast last night um, basically showed this image and um, it shows that they have implemented two, two brand new things that they are going to do for this Red Boss event because I guess the fans have complained about the Red Boss event. Um, one of the first reasons that they are going to um, do this is um, because of this first add addition to the event. Uh, if you see Freya, then she has the top bubble, and of course, if you if you played the Red Boss event before, you recognize that medal straight away. Now, this medal is used for the Chaos Exchange to exchange for items for the Red Boss event. So this we'll call this medal the Red Boss event medal. Um, yeah, so they're gonna make it easier for you to obtain more Red Boss event medals. Um, yeah, so fantastic stuff because in the last two months that the Red Boss events. Uh, have occurred it was extremely difficult to obtain these medals and exchange them for um, the exclusive decor items that occur in the chaos exchange and then of course um, there is that six star episode plates that you can exchange for those events that occurred as well um, we have the macross frontier one for the first one then we have the macross 7 one and now we have the sdf macross come macross delta I guess they merged them both together this month because um, we missed out on one month so they are trying to you know get their quarterly red boss event uh, to a close so they can start on the next batch straight away then of course there is this one that has Reina talking with the second bubble there and um, yeah so what does it mean basically so immediately you see the word AP so AP if you're unfamiliar with the red boss event is what you need um, you know to to take part in battles for the red bosses that appear um, summoned by yourself summoned by your friends in the group uh, in the room and of course there is that um, few other text there if you don't know what it means it basically means AP recovery and cannon you can recharge them continuously so um, I guess they're gonna make the limitation of the AP a bit more because in the past the red boss events you you can only have five AP crystals but only three of them um, would constantly recharge while the other two are extra slots in case you use um, regenerative methods like the um, ethers and of course your 
seeing stone charges to recover AP. Then of course, Macross Cannon Charge can only be done in the past um, via taking part in raid boss battles and of course um, getting the charges from your decor room um, from the cannon medal, uh, cannon statue, whichever one you call it by. So yeah, so I guess they're going to implement new ways to get more medals and of course more charges for AP and the Macross Cannon. Fantastic stuff which is going to help in terms of getting top 100 placing um, for the Red Boss event. At the same time, it's also going to make it a little bit more harder because since it's making it easier to get those AP and Cannon charges, people are definitely going to be able to um, pursue top 100 a lot easier alongside with you so it's going to make the game a bit more difficult in terms of getting top 100 ranking. So yeah, <laughs> anyways, um, the bottom text with Kaname there isn't really brand new. Um, basically, um, she's just announcing that the gacha uh, ticket, you know, those that you usually get from Utamaku Pass, uh, you can now exchange them with the um, Red Boss medals. And of course, you can exchange Zodiac medals as well with the Red Boss medals, which I think you might not want to do it because the six star episode plates from the Red Boss episode event are uh, a bit more useful than those that you will get from the Zodiac Metal Exchange because, well, let's be honest, Zodiac Metal Exchange episode plates have terrible stats, terrible skills, percentage, and they're just there to give you costume points to unlock those Valkyries that are attached to them. So other than that, those episode plates are pretty much useless um, and, you know, maybe to obtain those episode orbs that you can get from um, unlocking the costume points for those episode plates again and again and again kind of thing so yeah um, I wouldn't recommend at all um, to use the red boss medals to exchange for zodiac medals um, not recommended at all unless you have uh, excess of um, you know red boss medals and somehow or other the red boss medals seem to expire because once they overlap the next uh, quarter events of the red bosses, I guess uh, maybe those medals might have an expiration date in the future. Who knows? We don't know all this information yet. This is just all speculation. But anyway guys, I've blabbed enough for this gacha video. This is definitely one of those longer gacha videos because of these kind of um, last minute implementation information that is uh, shown in the broadcast itself. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching once again. I know I say thank you a lot in any of my videos but I really really appreciate it um, for those who have watched my videos all the time and of course shared the content, that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully all this information is clear and useful as always like I said earlier in the video <laughs> before I forgot about mentioning this. Uh, additional content so yeah thank you guys uh subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and i'll see you guys in the next utah macross video until then bye